Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. We are coming at you Wednesday, December 11th. Effectively seven more trading days in the year for us. So we're going to try and drill down here and see what we can do. We're trying to squeeze a little more money out of this year and see how we go. Yesterday was frustrating, gotta say. Our euro longs got chopped, uh, got paid in dollars R, but in the end, uh, the number of shekels uh, on the right part of the ledger was pretty small, and so that's quite annoying. Going into today, we have to just kind of, number one, look at the sterling. What a, what a clusterfuck that is. We actually did try stelling through 126.60, but we cut, even though we were trying to avoid it. Um, and cable was just bringing the whole house down, basically. I mean, we traded down to 08, I believe. Well, yeah, 125.08. Consider today we'll probably be in a range. Um, don't expect to make a new low down there. Uh, we have average hourly earnings out of the UK, so the market is a bit short. If we have uh, some strong average hourly earnings, uh, this thing could go up a little bit. I'm not recommending trading cable, um, but if you are involved, just be careful. Average hourly earnings today, 10.30 Swiss time. Let's go back to our trusty Euro, bearish engulfed yesterday. That's uh, that's pretty bearish. There's gonna be stops below 50 today, and you know the story for euro lower is sort of I would say equal to the story for euro higher. Uh, yesterday we talked about higher euro because the market is short because President Trump might get impeached. Um, the reason to be short sure euro obviously is Deutsche Bank politics in France, the economy in Italy, populist government on the fringe, Merkel's last days. I mean, you could kind of go on and on on the short side. Um, so there is a story here. It's kind of an old story now. So we're not going to dive into Euro shorts through 113.50. Uh, but I just wanted to mention it because there's I wouldn't say equal and op opposite cases to make in euro dollar here at 113.67. But what I am saying is just be open-minded. Don't marry anything um, and see kind of what the story of the day is. Obviously, the story of today is, you know, May is going to restart Brexit negotiations. That clusterfuck continues. And equities. Equities crashed through 2600 yesterday as we expected. Went down to 25.83 but did not hold. Cruised way back to close up at 26.40. 60 handles back higher. This kind of tail smacks of capitulation. We've seen it before with this tail here. Uh, after this guy uh, down to 05, we went up uh, 200 handles. I'm not expecting this to go up, to go up 200 handles. Can it go up 20, 30, 50 handles? Absolutely. Uh, also, can it go straight down? Yes. Where does that leave us? It leaves us square, uh, and we're just waiting for a better setup. Our bias is still down, uh, but we recognize end of the year squeezes can be vicious. So we're just waiting and watching here. Dollar yen, bullish engulfing. Um, This looks kind of interesting through 113.40. Nobody really has this. Um, a lot of people were trying to trade the risk offside yesterday, which looked correct uh, until about 3.30 Swiss time. Uh, and well, actually, about 5 o'clock Swiss time. So 3.30 Swiss time, we went down. By 5, we were turning back higher. But this is now a pivot, this 113.40. Uh, we're going to try and get long dollars if we revisit these 113.37 highs if we're not going to pre-trade this uh, 
We don't have much conviction with this, but technically speaking, this actually looks pretty good. And so if the story uh, comes good, as in stocks continue to cruise higher, perhaps oil goes a bit higher, and bonds go lower, uh, we, weren't, we are not afraid to buy dollar yen uh, on a high one today. Speaking of fixed income, or short boons, did not bullish bearish engulf uh, this yesterday, but I think this is going to open with a small gap lower today. This 6295, 98 to 93 area is interesting. Um, we think boons are going to turn as we do think uh, all of the fixed income you see uh, 10 years. are yielding 286 now. This is a 10-year yield. And let's go to the price on the uh, long bond. Printed a new high yesterday, as you would expect, with um, equities collapsing, but then had a red day. Price is below 143.07 today, and you might suggest that uh, this has finally turned. Let's look at the yield on the 30. Uh, whatever it is, it doesn't make sense. 312, 313. Uh, does not pass the sniff test. Um, we like being short fixed income. And we're just waiting for signs that this squeeze from 137 up to 144 is over. Uh, lower low today uh, would signal that. You can see we rarely have these lower lows all the way up. Lower, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This was the one day that it got confusing. And then again, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. We want lower lows and lower highs in the dailies. Uh, and then we can start working on shorts again. All right, so we're kind of just watching here now. Uh, new fresh day. We're looking at this dollar yen top side. Um, we're going to stay away from euro for now, stay away from cable. Uh, we're short boons, and we're looking to enter into short fixed income. Good luck out there, people. I will uh, see you tomorrow.